these are my horrifyingly ugly but tried, tested, and true Hobby King version 1 ghetto goggles. Um, I got these things when I first started in FPV, and they're the only thing that I've used on a regular basis um, since since I started. I've tried Dominator V3s, V1s, V2s, and I think a pair of HD2s. Um, all of them obviously are a much better package than this, but I think this thing comes out at just around a hundred dollars, whereas those are looking at you know in the three hundred to like six hundred dollar range um, with all of the accessories. Mine, on the other hand, has um, you know like a four inch screen. Um, it's got uh, a thirteen hundred milliamp battery. I've got a diversity receiver, the uh, FR six thirty two. Um, and I've got a uh, Video Aerial Systems uh, 5 turn helical and a Video Aerial Systems Mad Mushroom. Um, all of this actually makes for a great FPV package, um, but it's obviously awkward and heavy and uncomfortable. Um, but I've done some modifications to it to make it a lot better, and those are the things that I want to talk about. So the first thing I've done to improve these is actually installed a um, Pair of ski goggles. These are a pair that I had left around that my dog had gotten a hold of and uh, chewed the lens off of, so I just cut, it, cut the rest of the lens off and literally just hot glue, you uh, use hot glue to mount the faceplate onto the um, whole uh, goggle set and that makes it significantly more comfortable to wear. Um, it rides up, it actually pushes it away from your face a little bit, which is really, really, really nice um, when you're, because it's just by default just a little bit too close. Um, the next thing that I've got here is instead of using um, a regular um, non-diversity uh, receiver, I've got the FR632 diversity receiver, which does a fantastic job. Um, it allows me to have a <clears throat> five-turn helical. Um, here and a um, uh, circular polarized mad mushroom uh, from video aerial systems two of the just the best antennas that I think you can buy um, and they work really well on the other side I've got just a five or a 1300 milliamp three cell battery that's just strapped to the side and my cable management is just down here uh, the final thing and one of the better improvements that you can make is that in there, and you can see it, there's an actual glass lens. Um, I bought that from Harbor Freight. Um, you can buy it online on eBay or wherever if you're not from the United States. And that makes the viewing um, experience marginally better. Um, the problem that I had with that was that with the Forenzo lens it's not it's not 3D it doesn't it doesn't use a third dimension to make the magnification it's that it uses a bunch of little things um, a bunch of little dots and that distorts what you see so I couldn't even read text on my screen now you can see I mean even just that no signal word there is very very clear um, there's a little bit of gaps around the top and bottom as you can kind of see there um, but that doesn't matter once you get going um, and then I just hot, again hot glued um, actually a, a broken prop onto the edge there, and that's what holds the uh, um, that's what holds the glass in place on the existing you know foam rail system that's there. Uh, and finally, the other thing that you should do is not uh, glue your whole thing together, and instead use um, I used a. Uh, bungee cord to hold it all together so they can take it apart and clean the lens and mount and unmount stuff on top of it. Um, it looks a little bit uglier, um, but it makes the whole system a lot better. And then finally, there was a little space left in here that I uh, put a uh, just a piece of cardboard shading. Um, I think I actually used that used a piece of box from a um, set of motors that I had bought, and that's what uh, keeps the light up. But yeah, all in all, I love these goggles. I'm looking to replace them soon. Oh, this third strap here on top. Um, this is the this part is the actual stock strap that came with the thing, and then this is the strap that came with my uh, spy ski goggles. Um, and having that third strap just keeps the whole thing mounted on your head a lot better. Uh,
But yeah, those are my Hobby King Ghetto goggles. Um, if you need an entry level FPV goggle setup, I highly recommend these. Um, I would recommend getting the version 2, and but still making these same modifications to them.